Break it up, break it up. <laughs> uh, praise the Lord. Well, the Lord's good. He's faithful to us. And uh, to come into the house of the Lord and to uh, praise his holy name, glory to God. Now, uh, some of those phrases of, you know, giving glory to God and all of that, um, as you read the scriptures, uh, th that those phrases will be built into you and it takes the Holy Spirit to really get a handle on even starting to do what what the Lord wants us to in praising him um, it's a little bit like uh, anybody ever hear uh, Morse code you know I can't understand it I'd have to learn the code, then I could understand it. And so it is with the Holy Spirit. You have to, you, there, there is a learning of the things of the Holy Spirit to really have a perception and an understanding of it. Uh, we're, we're talking about singing today, and my target is to get into um, there's six verses in the Psalms and then a, then a, a smattering of other verses, uh, a couple of them in Revelation, um, about singing a new song. Yes. Yes. Are you singing a new song? Yes. What are you doing about that? Doing uh, see, uh, yeah, unless you've got the Holy Spirit, you're going to have trouble with that. 
Uh, you, you might even have trouble, uh, <laughs> you may have trouble with it even with the Holy Spirit, you know. Uh, but, but the call of God on your life. Um, now, here, uh, it's to, to, uh, to couch this in the right context is my part of my challenge. We live in a culture that is the, where music is so connected to profit making, where music, you know, everything is copyrighted. By the way, you gotta honor the copyrights of the law of the land as much as, not much as possible. Don't you mess around with that, all right? So stick with the copyrights, but we're driven, and I think, you know, you look back in the 1960s and all the, all the bands that popped up, uh, uh, secular bands, and the millions and millions and millions they made selling their music. And that was, and the radio, a lot of the radio state, what they call now the, the oldies, uh, were the newies back then. Um, it was driven by big money. And there was a lot of graft and corruption and all that, you know. So when we get around to saying, well, you need to sing, you sort of have to come outside of all of that thing. In fact, it's probably the one abiding thing, I, concern I have about the so-called contemporary Christian stuff is too much money can taint what's going on. All right. So I just, I just caution everybody on that. And you just say, all right, now, the pastor knows about that, all right? <laughs> uh, turn to the Psalms, would you please? And I'm gonna run through the Psalms, and if I, if I get singing, I have said to the Lord, Lord, uh, you know, if you want me to sing, I'll sing. And if, Lord, if you want me to sing spontaneously, now, now, now an angel may appear and put his hand over my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> just to have mercy on everybody, you know. Yeah. I, do, I do not consider myself a soloist by any. If you think I am doing this, just to somehow say, oh, look at what our pastor can do. Boy, have you got it wrong. Uh, this is not what this is about. This is a challenge to you to open your mouth and for you to do something out of your mouth. And what I'm talking about is what's in there mm -hmm. and getting it out. Amen. Has he saved you? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Are you the redeemed of the Lord? Oh, yes. See, if that's in you, then there needs to be a release of the spirit yes. somehow, some way, and it may, not, it may be something that nobody else appreciates. When you do it the way the Bible says it, you may have to wake up your spouse in the middle of the night and says, dear, I'm sorry, but I just have to do this. Oh! No, but I might. By the way, otherwise uh, she might have a heart attack if uh, I didn't tell her, Lord, uh, you know, I'm gonna do something here. Psalm 7, 17, I, and by the way, I'm going to try to give you the verses as I, I got a whole sheet of them, uh, actually two pages, and I'm going to go through them quickly, but it's going, I hope will give you the impression that if you're not singing, and you're not singing by yourself and with others, you're missing something, something a piece of the puzzle is missing in your life. Oh, amen. All right. Amen. Psalm 7, 17. Psalm 7, 17. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness. I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Yeah. Okay. You know, see, and, and when you read this stuff, and then, wah, 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 wah. no, don't do that. So how, how, how good is the salvation? Well, it's okay. Oh, come on. Psalm 9, verse 2. Psalm 9, verse 2. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing to thy name, O thou most high. Now, so, so, when you come to church, you, 
some people say, well, I have to be careful who I stand next to because I don't want to, you know, what they will think about me if I sing. I, I have a buddy in Ohio. He used to sit, ne uh, sit next to me in the choir, all right? He could sing one note. Every song was monotone. You know what? But he did it with enthusiasm. And I was happy to, I always said, Max, Max Stover was his name. Max, I am glad to stand next to you and sing. He, by the way, when are you going to sign up for the praise team or the choir? If it's in there, when you get to heaven, you're going to stand way in the back and let everybody else do the praises, you know. How big a choir in heaven? I think he wants everybody in the choir. When you get to heaven, hey, if you could practice here and now. Get, we get 50 people in the choir. Get, get 30 people in the praise team. Yeah, I said, well, Pastor, you don't know what I sound like. Hey, that's not my fault. It's up to God how you sound like. That and a little bit of discipline. Psalm 9, verse 11, pray, sing praises to the Lord, which dwells in Zion. Declare among the people what he's done. Psalm 13, verse 6. Psalm 13, verse 6. I will sing praise to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. It's, it's really true. Psalm 18, verse 49. Psalm 18, verse 49. Therefore, I will give thanks to thee among the heathen. I will sing praises to thy name. Yeah, well, you know, so how about, how about in, the, in the parking lot of Walmart? You know, out there it's singing? Yes. Yeah, well, you know, I don't want to bother those other people. Well, it's not for the other people. It's for the God who made you. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Psalm 27, verse 6. And now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies around me. By the way, that's Satan. By the way, he does lift your head up. If you're down like this, let the Lord lift up your head. Therefore, I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises to the Lord. Psalm 30, verse 4, sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his. Yeah, are, you're either a saint or you ain't. No offense, writers. Either you're a saint or you're not. All you saints of his, give thanks to, uh, at the remembrance of his holiness. Every time you remember that God is amazing and special, yeah, you ought to sing. Yeah, just sing, just go ahead and sing to the Lord. You say, well, I don't know the tune. Well, make up a tune. Better yet, say, God, give me a tune. Uh, 30 years ago, this has only been done in public. This has only been done in public once before with this, with this little thing. And I did a long time ago, and I'm amazed I still remember it. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is, and I did not write this. I'm the only one that's ever sung it. I did not write this. It came to me, bang. By the way, did you ever get a... <laughs> and it's all to let God do that. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He restoreth my soul. He restoreth my soul. Hallelujah. I'm, 
skip it apart. Because that's been going on all morning. There's a, then it says at the end, what does it say at the end? Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Forever. Forever. Forever and ever. Forever. That's for the whole thing. Now there's that all the verses in, in, in uh, Psalm 23. And that came, bang. I did not write that. And the thing for you to see, now, I mean, I, listen, folks, to do for a minister to do this, you gotta be either crazy <laughs> or you, you gotta you gotta say, Lord, all right, let me be a little bit more uninhibited than usual. When it comes to singing, that's where most of us are at. Lord, help me be a little bit more uninhibited as you than usual. All right? But what, what will the Lord bring in, into your life? And um, let's go on. I got to get some of these. So Psalm 47, verse 6. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises unto our King, sing praises. That's what the verse says. It's, it's, there's, there's 13 words and, and four singings in there. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises unto our King, sing praises. Hallelujah, sing, 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 sing. Lord, I'm going to sing saying, Lord, I'm going to sing. And you begin in your heart to have a singing relationship. Yeah, yeah see, that's where the love song stuff comes from. Not between men and women, but between the human heart, the redeemed human heart, and God. Do you love God? Yes. Sing to him. Mm -hmm. Psalm 57, verse 7. 57, verse 7. My heart is fixed, O oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. I have, what, is, what was fixing your heart? That, and some of your mother in translation, that this is the old King James, by the way. That is, I am bound and determined. I am going to do it. If it even if it kills me, I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh, Psalm 66, verse 2. 66 verse 2, sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. By the way, that right there inspired some of the boldness of what I was singing up here. Make his, don't do wimpy, wimpy. No, what I know, I know some guys, when it comes to singing, they do wimpy, wimpy. Come on, sing as a man. <laughs> who's, supposed to, who's supposed to do the singing? Verse 66, or uh, uh, chapter, uh, Psalm 66, verse 4. All the earth shall worship thee and shall sing to thee. They shall sing to thy name. Let all the, Psalm 67, verse 4. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. We're not there yet. We're still complaining about the government. Oh. 
Let all the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations of the earth. Someday he's going to be king of kings and lord of lords, and he's going to rule. Amen. He's trying to rule your heart. Yes. If he can get it with your heart and a few others with their hearts, mm -hmm. we're getting closer. Psalm 68, verse 4, 68, verse 4. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name. By his name, Yah, and rejoice before him, and rejoice before him, and rejoice, rejoice before him. And re that, by the way, that's a song that I learned. I haven't sung that song until just now, and it popped into my head for, I bet, 30 years, 30 years, 40 years, I don't know. I remember singing that one on our honeymoon. <laughs> In the delivery room, yeah. I sang in the delivery room and the doctors were going, what? He knew I believed something. The doctor, I mean, and the nurses too. Oh, Psalm 89 verse one, I will sing of the mercies Psalm 89, verse 1. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. How long? Forever. You cannot do what the Bible tells you to until you have been born again, have Jesus in your heart, and live forever. Then and only then can you sing forever. To sing mercies of the Lord for, with my mouth, with my mouth, not <laughs> inside my head, with my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations, yeah, young, old, I don't care who in between, if they hear me, all right. Psalm 92, one, it is, Psalm 92, one, it is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name. Oh my. Notice it starts talking away from the Lord and then turns around and talks to the Lord. Now, you see that? It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. That's sort of out here someplace and talking to other people. But then it turns and says, to sing praises unto thy name, O Moses. It turns right to the Lord, right in the middle of the song. All right. Uh, Psalm 104, 33, I will sing. Psalm 104, 33, I'm zooming through these. I'm missing, I'm missing two thirds of them. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. Ooh, there's a, there's a tune that goes with that one, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe two or three, yeah. As long as I can go, and I can go, mm -hmm. I'm going to sing a song to God. Yeah. Uh, let me give you one more. Sing unto the Lord, uh, Psalm 147. What Psalm 147, 7. And I, I got to do this because uh, Savanio helped me out. Sing unto the Lord. By the way, if you ever, if you want to come up here and look inside the piano sometime, I won't, I won't think you're strange. Other people will think you're strange. But I won't think you're strange because it goes with this psalm. Psalm 147, 7. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God. You know what that is? That's just a harp with little hammers in there and a keyboard. Mm -hmm. So you can even plunk around on a piano if you know. I don't know if I was I was duly tortured in my childhood with piano lessons. <laughs> but you know, God can use that too. Yeah. And you, know, you ever sit down and just play? He can, right? You can, just, you can make up stuff on the spur of the moment, sort of. Oh, yes. Now, 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 that, now we've got to shift gears. Six verses. Okay, go, go back to Psalm 33, 3. 
Psalm 33, 3. Sing. Let me check my time here. All right. Because we want to do some more singing, see? Yeah. So, Psalm 33, 3. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Play skillfully with what? Yeah, in fact, King, old King James says, with loud noise. Hey, you can be in that category. You can sing monotone with Max, and it fits. Amen. <laughs> Psalm 40, verse 3. By the way, these are the ones that are listed in the bulletin uh, uh, with the sermon title. Psalm 40, verse 3, he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise to our God. Many see it and fear and trust in the Lord. What's going on here? It's the reality of God. It's singing out of the reality of God in your life. You say, well, I'm not sure I know much about that. As, as you enter in the, into this, ooh, how can I say it? As you enter it by faith in the Spirit, do you sing a new song? Are we supposed to sing a new song? A new song? Where is a new song coming from? There are days there's enough in there that just for me. How about you? You ever had a good day? I know you have, have had bad hair days, but have you had a good day? If you had a good day, so you go sit around on your hands and not praise God. Well, no wonder you only get them once, once every three years then. Well, I didn't really mean that. You know what? <laughs> I think I, every day has its blessings. Amen. Even the bad hair day if you're paying attention. Uh, Psalm uh, 96, verse 1. Psalm 96, verse 1. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. This is almost like begging you to do it. How about you trying it? Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. I think that even got published on the front of the bulletin. Yep, that's on the front of the bulletin. New song, new song, new song. Just sing a song, just sing a song. You don't have to, you don't have, you need to sing, sing. You, you, I'll tell you what, fix your heart on the Lord, start to sing. Hallelujah, I don't care. You say, you know, you know well, well, what do I say? You know, it's possible to sing and not use your understanding at all. Now that, I'm pushing it here a little bit. Go, go, okay, uh, we're gonna come back to the Psalms here, but go to 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter uh, uh, 14? Yeah, 1 Corinthians 14. 1 Corinthians 14, and people will say, oh, that's not, this passage just isn't for today. Well, too bad if you would just, you may as well just sort of cut it out. No. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 15. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 15 is what is the conclusion then? I will pray with the Spirit. I will pray with the understanding. Okay, they're praying with the Spirit. There is a praying, and according to Romans chapter 8, you go look it up. There is a praying of a groaning before the Lord and not even knowing exactly how to put it into words. And you are, you are just, you put your heart out before the Lord and you pray. And part of what you say may or may not make sense. Now look at this. I will sing with the Spirit and I will sing with the understanding. Now, now, a real simple, simplified version of this, I knew a guy that was always, now this was uh, uh, one, of the, one of the farmers I used to work for. Uh, he was a Christian when I was a kid, bale hay and everything. And he was, 
This, but he did this from his spirit. You know, now, there was no under, words with it. And it wasn't a tune. He was just, he was making music to the Lord by his whistling. All right? But you can do that with, you know, don't, don't go dooby dooby doo. No, no. <laughs> you know, if the Lord gives you a few syllables of something, all right. Is it unto the Lord? Is your heart, where is your heart fixed? Where are you going with this? All right. But it's in the spirit. And then you can do it with the understanding. And I would, I would dare to say that if you have no sense of doing it in the spirit, you're going to have the trouble. You're going to have some trouble over in the understanding side. All right. Do it with your understanding. But do it with, do stuff that, well, I don't know if that made any sense, but I was, I was praising God. Thank you, Lord. All right, let's uh, let's go back to Psalm. Psalm, uh, Psalm. Uh, which one, where, where was I? Um, the Psalm uh, 98, verse one. Psalm 98. Psalm 98, verse one. Sing, sing. Um, was singing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Well, that doesn't seem to me like he's done anything marvelous. By the way, that's the carnal flesh saying that. Amen. So you need to investigate. And you don't stop until you found something absolutely, totally, 100% marvelous. He has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm has gotten him the victory. And when you discover the marvelous thing, you just sing about that. Lord, it's just amazing what you did. Lord, I worship you for the amazing thing you did. Lord, right there it is. I know about it. I have detected your marvelous work. You hide your works, O oh God, but then they come out into the open, and I'll praise your name for this marvelous thing I see. By the way, that was the baby. Yeah, marvelous thing. My, my, my. Yeah, somebody else ought to sing too when babies are born. Psalm uh, 144, 144 verse 9. 144, verse 9, I will sing a new song to thee. O God, upon the psaltery, upon the instrument of ten strings, I will sing praises to thee. How many strings does a guitar have? Is there such a thing as a ten-string guitar? <laughs> no, no, twelve string, right? Uh, yeah, well, we're close. Two extra strings ought to do good. <laughs> Mandolin. Yeah. Um, yeah, see, there's, in, there's instruments in there. And the greatest instrument is, is what? Is your heart. If it doesn't come from your heart, there's something goofy. Psalm 149.1. One. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of the saints. I uh, pulled off the shelf this morning a little book. This, this is uh, just, this is public, this is a brother and song book. No, no uh, musical notes, that's all just words. Published right after the Civil War, first edition. And, um, I would say 80% of these I have never heard before. But you know, these songs were new to somebody sometime. And there, there, was, they were, there was spurts where they were prolific in new songs. And there were people that were prolific in new songs. And Fanny, 
Fanny Crosby, blind lady in New York City, worked a mission, and uh, she had so many news, like thousands and thousands and thousands, she would send them to the publisher, and if they used them, they'd give her $2. Amazing grace, how sweet to sound. No, not amazing grace. Blessed assurance, blessed assurance. You got $2, $2 for that song. Um, they, 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 the publishers were so embarrassed, they took her name off and put somebody else's name. But they, are, they were hers. So we're not even sure how many of these hymns were from Fra Fanny Crosby. By the way, where's the new, they had new songs in their generation. Where's the new songs in our generation? Hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe you need to have a new song. I like to take old songs and do a new, and spontaneously just sing. Let me see if I can find a good one here. I had one picked out. <laughs> this is the day the Lord has made. He calls the hours his own. Let heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad and praise. Surround his throne. Today he rose and left the dead, and Satan's empire fell. Today many saints their triumph spread, and tell all his wonders tell. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> you just do it. You rely on the Holy Spirit. You make up new little tunes, new little melodies. Yeah, you're supposed to sing a new song because when you get to Revelation, I'm done, I'm done. I'm way over. <coughs> I want to sing! <laughs> uh, in Revelation, it talks about, in two places in Revelation, it talks about how they sang a new song. Well, Let's get going. Amen. Stand with me, would you? <laughs> I'm going to be doing more than I wrote about this. Thing. This isn't the last one. I will celebrate. We changed the order a little bit this morning. Let's sing to the Lord a new song. I will celebrate, sing unto the Lord, sing to the Lord a new song. I will celebrate, sing unto the Lord, sing to the Lord. See? 
Lift up your hands and clap for joy. The time's drawing near when he will Oh, it's in a day. 
do announcements this morning. You, oh, I turned off my mic. <laughs> we are just going to uh, allow you to look in your bulletin because they're all right there. Um, but let's, yes, um, let's um, pray now and we'll be on our way. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for um, singing through us, God. We thank you that we are able to come and sing to you, Jesus, the Savior of the world, the creator of the earth. What an honor it is to be able to do that. Thank you, Jesus. We give to you, Lord, everything that um, is on our hearts this morning and our minds that are concerning us and also that are exciting to us, that that. Um, give glory to your name. We just lay them before you and and thank you for them. Let me pick up your spirit of peace and joy for the day and for the rest of this week. We thank you for your spirit that flows through freely through us. May we allow you to flow freely through us even more, God. We thank you, Jesus. We praise your name. Amen. Okay, we'll celebrate again. 